Good morning! Welcome to Stories for Twos and Threes right here on the Swigley Public Library YouTube channel. I'm so happy you can join us. Tomorrow, Miss Bridget will be here at 9.30 a.m. for preschool story time. And on Friday, Miss Jan will be joining us for a family story time. So join us! And just a few reminders. Don't forget to sign up for our summer reading club program on the Swigley Public Library website. And this weekend, we are having a story walk at the Mary Roberts Reinhardt Nature Park Fern Hollow Nature Center and Audubon Greenway from for the Allegheny Land Trust. So please join us. Are you guys ready to get started for story time? I sure am. Let's start off with very, very tall and very, very small. Here we go. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. Here's the big one. I'm very, very tall. I'm very, very small. Tall, small. Now I'm a little ball. Oh, good job, everyone. That was such a fun stretch. Hey, everyone, hide your shaker. Here we go. Where is shaker? Where is shaker? Here I am. Here I am. How are you today, sir? Very well, I thank you. Run away. Run away. Where is shaker? Where is shaker? Here I am. Here I am, tapping on my elbow, tapping on my elbow. Run away, run away. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am, here I am, rolling on the floor, rolling on the floor. Run away, run away. Where is Shaker? Where is Shaker? Here I am, here I am, jumping up and down, jumping up and down. Run away, run away. Good job, everyone. Are you ready to shake your sillies out? Here we go. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake. Shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. Let's clap. I'm gonna clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out. Clap, clap, clap my crazies out and wiggle my waggles away. Let's jump. I'm gonna jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump my jiggles out. Jump, jump. Jump my jiggles out and wiggle my waggles away. Let's stretch. I'm going to stretch, stretch, stretch my stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch my stretchies out and wiggle my waggles away. Let's shake. I'm going to shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake, shake my sillies out. Shake, shake. Shake my sillies out and wiggle my waggles away. Good job shaking everyone. Let's put the shakers away. Put the shakers away, put the shakers away, put the shakers away today. Great job. Alrighty, let's get the last little bit of our wiggles out. Are you ready? Everybody wiggle your fingers. Can you see, can you wiggle your fingers? Good job. Everybody, wiggle your toes, wiggle your toes. My toes are wiggling. Great job. Everyone, wiggle your shoulders. Best part, best part, best part, best part. Oh, now everyone, you guessed it. Wiggle your nose, wiggle your nose, wiggle your nose. Now there are no more wiggles left to me and I will sit as still as still can be. Alrighty, everyone find a comfy spot. We're gonna start to read some books. Are you comfy? Alrighty, here we go with our first book. Kite Day, A Bear and Mole Story by William Hillebrand. This book 
is published by Holiday House, and I would like to thank them for their permission to read the book to you today. Kite did. Bear looked at the sky. Could it be, he wondered? Hmm. He tilted his head up. Whiff, whiff, whiff. He smiled and then he shouted, Kite day! He rushed home. Huff, puff, huff, puff. Looks like he's running really fast. He must be really excited. Come on, bear wave to mole. Kite day is here. Bear collected, mole studied, bear snatched. Bear measured and cut, mole drew, and they both constructed. Friends, I wonder what they're making. Hmm, it looks like a diamond. Could it be a kite? I think so. Finally, they raced outside into the meadow. The kite flew, zoom, zoom, zoom. Look how high it is. It soared up and up and up. And then dark, heavy clouds rolled in. Rumble, rumble, rumble. Uh-oh, what do you think is coming? Maybe some rain? The breeze blew into a gust and then snap, the kite string broke. Oh no. Away, 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 spun the kite. Oh, I wonder where it could have gone. Oh no, screamed Mole and Bear. Down and down and down plunged the kite. Save that kite, shouted Mole. The two ran. Hurry, hurry, urged Bear. Oh, there it is. Do you think they can save it? Let's find out. Mole stopped, his head tilted up. Splat, splat, splat. Rain pelted the broken kite. There it is in the tree. Look, cried Bear. Oh, sighed Mole. Chirp, 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 squeak the chicks. <gasps> Look, the kite is protecting the chicks. Thank you, sang the mother bird. You're welcome, said Bear and Mole. Kite day. Already, are you guys ready for Itsy Bitsy Spider? My bee puppet and my cricket puppet sure are. Let's get our little Itsy Bitsy fingers out and let's go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Good job, itsy bitsy. Are you guys ready for down by the station? Everyone get your choo-choos going, here we go. Down by the station early in the morning. See the little puffer bellies all in a row. See the station master pull his little lever. Pop, pop, toot, toot, off we go. Yay! Good job, everyone. I'd like to thank Candlewick Publishing for their permission to read this book to you today. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Higher, higher. Oh, she's right at the giraffe. Do you think she can go higher? Oh, she sure can. Higher, higher. Look at the top of the skyscraper. Higher, higher. She's in the clouds. Amazing. Higher, higher. She's, she's by the planes. Do you think she can go higher? I think so. Higher, higher. Look, she can see the world. Higher, higher. Oh my gosh, 
It's a monkey in a rocket ship. Do you think she can go higher? <gasps> Hi. Hi, says the alien. High five. Awesome. Bye. Bye, says the little girl. Oh, I think she's coming down. And she's almost to the ground. <gasps> and there she is in her daddy's arms. Again. Higher, higher. Five little kites. One little kite in the sky so blue. Along came another, and then there were two. Two little kites flying high above me. Along came another, and then there were three. Three little kites, just watch them soar. Along came another, and then there were four. Four little kites so high and alive. Along came another, and then there were five. Five little kites dancing across the sky. What a sight to see, way up so high. Five little kites. Alrighty, it's time for our last book and it's one of my favorite books, all about one of my very, very favorite things to do in the summer. Swimming and jumping off diving boards. Are you ready for Jabari Jumps by Gia Cornwall? And I'd like to thank Candlewick Publishing for their permission to read the book to you today. Jabari jumps. I can't wait to go swimming. I'm jumping off the diving board today, Jabari told his dad. Really? said his dad. The diving board was high and maybe a little scary. But Jabari had finished his swim lessons and passed his swim test and now he was ready to jump. I'm a great jumper, said Jabari. I'm not scared at all. Are you scared? Maybe just a little? Jabari watched the other kids climb the long ladder. They walked all the way out to the end of the board. As big as tiny bugs, they stood on the edge. They spread their arms and they bent their knees and they sprang up and up and up and then they dove down and down and down. Splash! Looks easy, said Jabari. But when his dad squeezed his hand, Jabari squeezed back. Jabari stood at the bottom of the ladder. He looked up. You can go before me, he told the kid behind him. I need to think about what kind of special jump I'm going to do. And Jabari thought and thought. Jabari started to climb up and up. The ladder is very tall, he thought. Are you okay, called his dad. I'm just a little tired, said Jabari. Maybe you should climb down and take a tiny rest, said his dad. A tiny rest sounded like a good idea. Oh, I think so. When he got to the bottom, Jabari remembered something. I forgot to do my stretches, he said to his dad. Stretching is very important, said his dad. I think tomorrow might be a better day for jumping, Jabari said. They looked up at the diving board together. Tomorrow could be a better day. It's okay to feel a little scared, said his dad. Sometimes I feel a little scared. I take a deep breath and I tell myself I'm ready. And you know what? Sometimes it stops feeling scary and it feels like a little surprise. Jabari loves surprises, don't you? Jabari took a deep breath. He felt it fill his body from the ends of his hair right down to the tips of his toes. Jabari looked up and he began to climb up and up and up until he got to the top. Jabari stood up straight he walked all the way to the end of the board. Do you think he's gonna do it? Oh, we should find out. His toes curled around the rough edge. Oh, I think he's gonna do it. Let's see. Jabari looked out as far as he could. He felt like he was ready. I love surprises, he whispered. Oh, look, there's dad and his sister waiting for him. 
Let's see if he does it. He took a deep breath. He spread out his arms and bent his knees and he sprang up off the board, flying. He did it. Jabari hit the water with a splash. Down, down, down he went and then back up. Whoosh. He looks so happy. I'm so proud of him that he made that big jump. Jabari, you did it, said his dad. I did it, said Jabari. I'm a great jumper. And you know what? What, said his dad. Surprise, double backflip is next. I'm sure it is. Jabari jumps. Hey guys, it's time to sing our closing song. Are you ready? It's time to say goodbye to our friends. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Story time is done, so come another day. It's time to say goodbye to our friends. Thank you so much for joining me for Stories for Twos and Threes right here on the Swickley Public Library YouTube channel. Don't forget to stop back all week long. We have story times at 9.30 a.m. Miss Bridget will be bringing you preschool story time tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. And on Friday, Miss Jan will be back at 9.30 a.m. for family story time. And don't forget to sign up for summer reading. And please stop by our story walk next week. Thanks so much. Have a good day. Bye-bye.